How much electrical energy is converted to heat if a 1 kilowatt resistive heating element is energized for one hour? Given information, we have power given. We can tell it's power by the units 1 kilowatt. It's 10 to the third watts or 1 kilowatt. And we have time given as one hour. What are we asked to find? How much electrical energy? And we use W for electrical energy. So do we know a relationship between power, P, time, T, and uh, energy, W? And we do. It's W is equal to power. Energy is equal to power times time. Now, looking at the units, the power is 1 kilowatt. So we could write that the energy is equal to 1 kilowatt times one hour, and that's equal to one kilowatt hour, which is a unit of, of energy. And so we haven't been asked to specify in, in kilowatt hours or joules. So this would be a correct answer, trivial to find, but correct answer. Um, let's do it, however, uh, in getting the answer in joules. In that case, we'll have W equals the energy in joules is the power times the time, where the time has to be in seconds. And so we have 10 to the third watts times now. Our time was given in hours, so we'll have to convert that to minutes and then to seconds. So uh, we have times one hour, and now a conversion fraction, we have 60 minutes per one hour. And that just converts into watts times minutes. We need watts times seconds, so we'll have 60 seconds per one minute. And that's going to give us, after everything cancels, the units of hours cancel, units of minutes cancel. And we have watts times seconds, and that's a joule. So we have 60 times 60, that's 3,600 times 10 to the third. 3,600 times 10 to the third, and that's watts times seconds. Now, a watt times a second is a joule, and this is 3.6 times 10 to the third, so times 10 to the third times 10 to the third is 10 to the sixth, and 10 to the sixth is mega, so we'll write 3.6 megajoules. In the circuit shown, the resistor has 12 volts across it. How much energy will it convert to heat in 45 minutes? So we have 12 volts with this polarity. I can tell because that it gets its polarity from the battery. And so what are we given here? We are given that a voltage is equal to 12 volts. And we also have a resistor value, R, is 150 ohms. What are we asked to find? How much energy? So we're asked to find W, energy. Now we know our relationship for W, W equals power times time. Oh, we also are given up here time is equal to 45 minutes. Now we're going to need that in seconds, so we'll do that in a minute uh, as part of the solution. So we know W, we know time, although we need it in, in seconds. We don't know power, so we're going to need some other kind of relationship for power. Power is equal to, well, we're given V and R, and we know they are related by V squared over R. So we know V, we know R, so we can find power. Then once we know power, we can put that in here for power and multiply by the time converted to seconds. And we can find the amount of energy that's being used, and that's what we're asked to find. So the solution will be in two steps. First, we'll use this relationship to find power. We'll have uh, 12 volts squared divided by 150 ohms, and we get 960 times 10 to the minus third watts, or 960 milliwatts. Then the second thing we'll do is we'll use that value for P to find energy W. So we'll have energy is power, which we just discovered was 960 times 10 to the minus third watts times time, but we need time in seconds, so we have 45 minutes, and then to convert minutes to seconds, we have 60 seconds per one minute. 
and the minutes cancel and we'll get watts times seconds and that's what we need for uh, joule and so when we multiply 960 or 0.96 times 45 times 60 we get 2592 and that's watts times seconds and a watt times a second is a joule so we have and I'm going to convert this to scientific notation and write an approximation here approximately 2.6 times 10 to the third and that's a kilojoule. So watts times seconds are joules and then I move this decimal place in three and approximate it to 2.6 times 10 to the third that's kilojoules. And that would be the most appropriate way to express this answer. In this example we're told that the switch has been closed for 1.5 hours and in that time, the resistor has converted 2 kilojoules of electrical energy into heat. Find the current through the resistor. Given information, we have time as 1.5 hours. We'll need to convert that to seconds. Maybe to avoid cluttering up our, our paper to keep the page neat, let's uh, maybe think about some scratch paper here. And we'll write that time is 1.5 hours and we're going to convert that to seconds so we'll have 3600 seconds per hour the hours cancel and we get 1.5 times 3600 that's 5400 seconds so I'm going to write that down here as 5400 seconds I could even write that as 5.4 times 10 to the third seconds what other information are we given we're given that the amount of energy converted is 2 times 10 to the third joules, 2 kilojoules, and we have a resistor value of 220 ohms from the diagram. What are we asked to find? Find the current through the resistor. Current through the resistor, since the switch is closed, that will allow current to flow in this direction, so we want to know the current through the resistor in this direction. We can call that I. So find I. Now, what do we know? What relationships do we know that relate time, energy, resistance, and current? Well, we're not aware of any single relationship, so we'll have to do this one in steps. So let's see. We're asked to find I, and we know, for example, that power is I squared R. At least that relates I that we're looking for, or unknown, and R that we're given. We're not asked about power, but we can maybe use that to solve for i. So if we solve that for i, divide both sides by r and take the square root of both sides, I get i is the square root of power over resistance. And we recognize that as a form from before. Now, we know r, we need to find i, but we don't know power, so we'll have to look for another relationship. And we have energy. And we have time, and we know that energy is equal to power times time, where time is in seconds, power is in watts, and energy is in joules. So we, if we could solve this for power, we could put that value here, and since we already know R, we'd be able to then solve for I, and that's what our goal is. So we'll rewrite this. We need to solve this for power. Power is dividing both sides by T. Energy in joules divided by time in seconds, and that gives us power in watts, which we can now put here. So this will be a two-step process again. First, we'll need to find power so that we can use that to find current. So the power is the energy, 2 times 10 to the third joules, divided by the time, 5.4 times 10 to the third seconds, 10 to the thirds cancel, and we get 370.4 times 10 to the third that will be watts, or 370.4 milliwatts. And we're going, we weren't asked for that, but we'll use that in the uh, next step. So the next step now we're able to solve for I, which is what we originally were asked to solve for. So that's going to be the square root of the power divided by the resistance. That's 370 times 10 to the minus 3 in watts, divided by the resistance of 220 ohms. And on our calculator, we get 
41.03 times 10 to the minus 3 amps. Or we'll write that as approximately, now 10 to the minus 3 is milli, so this is milliamps right here, so we'll have approximately 41 milliamps for the current through the resistor, and that's what we were asked to find in this example.